welcome to Butterfly Transformations channel on YouTube. You are with Tanisha Ali today, and I am broaching the topic of three questions you need to ask yourself when it's difficult for you to let go. All of us have things in our lives that are difficult for us to let go of. They can be people, they can be relationships, they can be job situations. There are a litany of different things that we may begin to no longer resonate with. When we don't resonate with something, it doesn't make us feel good. We feel drained as a result of interacting with it. We don't feel free to be ourselves. It's not something that's moving our lives forward. It's actually holding us back. And a lot of times we can actually identify with this and we can know that we need to let something go and we may have difficulty letting it go. So I wanted to share with you three questions that you can ask yourself when you are having difficulty letting something go and you know that you need to let it go. The first question that you need to ask yourself is, what is the collateral damage? What is this costing me? Okay, when you inventory your life, in relationship to this thing that you're having difficulty letting go, you need to ask yourself, how is this impacting me? What is it costing me in terms of resources? Resources such as effort, time, money, whatever it is, looking at what this is costing you. Is it causing you to sacrifice your values? Is it causing you to sacrifice your principles or your sense of morality? What is staying in this situation actually costing you. It's not good enough to just list these things. What you want to do is you want to write them down. You want to write them down so that you can actually see these things on paper. It helps to move you closer towards a solution. It helps to take you out of the inertia that you may be in or the denial that you can be in in terms of trying to figure out what to do and where to go next. The second thing that you need to ask yourself is, how is this benefiting me? This is a little bit more difficult one because oftentimes we don't wanna think that the things we know we need to let go of are benefiting us beyond the obvious. And I say beyond the obvious because I'm not talking about, you know, um, I don't wanna leave this marriage because of finances, okay? Because this marriage is, is gonna cause me to not be able to take care of myself. Although that is valid, usually there's something deeper that is causing us to stay in a situation. We don't always see it as a benefit, but somehow it's allowing us to escape the level of self-development or growth that we may need. Let's just give you an example. Let's say you're dealing with someone with an illness and they are very sick, but it is not something that they cannot overcome quality of life has been diminished, but not at a level that should have them in the space that they're actually in. But they don't want to let go of that illness. And as a result of not wanting to let go of that illness, they're still walking around in their pain body, okay? And they're not really doing much to take control over their destiny, over their health. So a benefit in that situation may be they become so identified with that illness that it gives them something to talk about. It's become a uh, part of their identity. Uh, it has become not only a talking point, but something that they've almost embraced as a way of life. And so in order to let that go would mean, how would they define themselves? What might they talk about in conversations with other people? What would happen if this huge disease or this huge illness was no longer a part of their life where would they be? Who would they be? It's no different than when people retire and they're left with a sense of who am I? Something can define us, can define us to the degree that we subconsciously not want to let it go, may not want to let it go, even if that thing is undermining us and contributing to ill health, spiritual malaise, dis-ease, or whatever else that we might be dealing with in our lives. So that's the second thing that you want to ask yourself. That's the second question. How am I benefiting? Question number three, 
um, requires us to really go deep and to dig deeper and deeper and deeper to get to the root of what's really going on. Question number three, the third thing that we need to ask ourselves when we're having trouble letting go of something is, what am I afraid of? At the base of stagnation, at the base of uh, our hesitancy to up-level in our lives, at the base of any kind of standstill that we come to in our lives, there's always fear. There's always something that we are really afraid of, something that has that is acting as the core motivator for us clinging to whatever it is that we're clinging to, knowing that it is not serving our highest good. So getting to the root of what it is you're actually afraid of, being willing to go in and face that fear, to uh, muster your inner warrior energy, your solar plexus energy, and to really go in and address that fear stand in your power, understand that the only thing that comes between you and spirit is fear and that there's nothing to really fear but the fear itself. That kind of work has to be done in order for you to up level your life and be able to go to the next stage of your growth and development. You're with Tunisia Ali of Butterfly Transformations connecting you to the vision of who you truly are. I work in partnership with women who are interested in living more joyful and fulfilling lives. I help them to gain clarity, to up-level their mindset, to heal and clear energetic and emotional blocks, and fundamentally to manifest the abundance that is represented by the glory of God within. You can reach me at ButterflyTransformation.com. My information is in the description. I hope that you learned something from this video. If you find something in it that you feel is worthy of sharing, Please do share. I hope you have a wonderful, prosperous, peaceful, and productive day.